and good morning, everybody from Kansas. That's right. Just inside Kansas in Elkhart, Kansas. I got here before Jason and Candace uh, got here, so I'm kind of scoping it out. Nothing going on yet. This is the Cottonwood Picnic Area in the Cimarron Recreation Area. Cimarron, Cimarron, Cimarron. <laughs> no idea, but it's a national grassland area with uh, some off-road stuff. See, Jason and Candace from Camping with the Kellys, they have a different app that they use for finding campgrounds because they've got the Razor and he's got the, the Dual Sport there. They use uh, Rider Planet and this one showed up. It is a paid campground, but it looks like I'm in the wrong spot because the legend here shows where the campgrounds are. So if I'm at Cottonwood Campground, it is no longer a campground. So the site is wrong. There's no camping here. It's just a picnic area. However, Simran Recreation Area has camping up here, and this is a dirt road. A dirt road that I'm not too excited about taking Miranda on, but hey, the camping's good. This is a very strange playground. Oh my gosh, it's windy. <laughs> Gotta hold the camera with two hands so it doesn't fly out of my hands. Well, this is a weird table. Look at these chairs. That's strange. No snakes, no snakes, no snakes. Look at this old rusty plow they have on display here. Uh-huh, get her done. One more thing I wanna go check is this water spigot over here. See if we can score some water. So these are the picnic areas and I noticed this when I came in. What do you think? What do you think? Nothing, nada. Eh. I wasn't really holding out hope. Let me take this uh, four or five mile dirt road really slow and see if I can find this campground. So, this is what we got here in Elkhart. $7 a night camping. Um, I'm trying to find out what's going on because the box doesn't have any federal registration slips. Uh, these are state workers working, Kansas state workers. They contacted the federal office in Elkhart. There's nobody there working today. So for right now, you can't pay the $7. But I'm also wondering if the America the Beautiful Pass covers it because this is national grasslands, not a national park. Um, so I do have some information that I still need to gather and I think Jason and Candace can park next to me here because they can pull up and back in this way. I tried to plan that as best as possible, but we got some vault toilets there. Oh, and I got a little pond waterfront area here. Supposedly there might be some fish in there too. And I can already see it dripping, so I know. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And it doesn't say potable drinking water on it, but it doesn't say not drinking water. So I'm going with that's verified plus it's blue. I think uh, I'll top off on the way out. All right, Curiosity has the best of me. Let's peek in here and see how nice or not nice these are. It's your standard vault toilet with no toilet paper. Okay. And there's garbage cans provided, so I think that's why this place, you know, looks really clean and everything. Jason's about a half hour out. I told him about the graded road. Nothing you can do about it. And again, not complaining, but that four mile graded road took me 25 minutes to get down. And it was like, I felt like my, my teeth were gonna fall out. No, I'm gonna go inside. It's too windy. Oh yeah? Is that how you do it? Is that how you do life? Do you like our view, Jax? Look at the water. We're waterfront. Well, pond front. Which also reminds me, I'm gonna dig out those tiki torches because I'll bet you here, even in April, I'll bet you those gnats are gonna be crazy out there. Yeah. Hey, guess what? No rattle from the... Uh, since I changed this and bolted it down, no sound at all. Um, his bowls are now making a sound. I know, I, was, I guess you could just go through this forever and just always find sounds that rattle and make noise. It's funny because it never bothered me and Yoda, but the... You know, this is... It's great for a house. 
That doesn't make a lot of sense for an RV. So we're gonna get you new bowls, okay? Oh, you seem terribly concerned about it. Okay. All right, what do we got to eat here? We got a Tostino's combination, a pizza. Ooh, I could do spaghetti and meatballs. And I got some chicken patties and some tater tots. Cause I'm not a tater hater, you shouldn't be either. Well, there's Jason and Candace rolling in with the mothership there. All right. So that's the uh, tight squeeze right there. He made that look a lot easier. And then backing up like a boss, he didn't even get out of the RV to look. I'd say he's been doing this a while. Yeah, so Jason and Candace made it. They're on their way back to Missouri, I believe. And uh, uh, they they invited me to ride the TW200. They're gonna take the Razor out tomorrow. So that could be fun, that could be awesome. Uh, I think we might even have a really good sunset here out on the little pond here. My closest neighbor over here in the pop-up truck camper said he caught eight uh, perch out here in this there's a river lake that feeds into this overflow pond it's not stocked or anything but uh yeah we're in kansas i currently do not have a kansas freshwater fishing license and i don't plan to get one because my next stop will be in another new state heck yeah <laughs> i feel like i'm moving fast but honestly i'm really not so uh let me hop up on the roof real quick Hey, they're forecasting something other than 70 mile per hour gusts of wind. Somewhere, not here. <laughs> not getting that lucky here. Uh, up on the roof, in order for me to get any Wi-Fi, because I don't have a booster, like I gave it away with Yoda, um, I've got my hotspot and a little portable bank charger up here on the Batwing antenna to get me a little higher. That's the only way I can get any internet service out here. And I can't stream YouTube, uh, but I can get service, or maybe this is high enough that it's tapping into Jason's booster. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, either way, Verizon works great out here. AT&T, not so much. On the solar panels, I forgot to show you something else that Wayne added that is really awesome. So on the front of each set of panels is an aluminum piece of, of L bracket that deflects the wind from catching underneath, okay? So this is really important because I've lost a panel before. I will link something up top for you for fun. But yeah, um, that'll help wind not get under this panel section. And then same thing on this other section over here. Just something to help deflect wind from getting under there. I am just so exhausted by the high winds. <laughs> like, okay. It's better than it being 85 degrees all the time and no wind, but it just never ends in the Midwest. Uh. So yeah, um, I've not been filming as much as I normally would have today because I've been hanging out with my friends Jason and Candace of Camping with the Kellys. So. Um, it's been fun. We were watching Netflix. We watched a new movie over in their RV. And now I'm hanging out with Mr. Jack's man. He's been crying. Why'd you leave me? Actually, uh, you may see over on Jason's channel, Jackson invited himself into their RV and saw their cat, Chloe, which is a fluffier, skinnier version of Jack's. And uh, there's a little bit of hissing and, and catitude going on. It's all good. But anyway, I, I've obviously not been filming like I normally film because I've been hanging out with friends. So, uh, but still, if we take the bikes out tomorrow, I will, or the next day, I'll, I'll, I'll film some for you guys. So, uh, take care from Jackson and I. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.